Magento 2.3 comes with default support of GraphQL. Apart from REST and SOAP APIs, going further, Magento will be supporting GraphQL. GraphQL was originally developed by Facebook for their internal use and later on was open sourced. As you know that with Magento you have Swagger by default installed. Similarly, you will have GraphQL from 2.3 onwards. So this is my basic Magento 2.3 installation. Apart from that, I have also created one product from Magento backend. So with your Magento's base URL, if you add Swagger, this presents you overall documentation of your all the APIs that are default provided by Magento. When you create new APIs, these APIs can also be documented using proper notation and PHP doc uses. Now similarly with GraphQL, if you go to your Magento's base URL and after that you add GraphQL, with this endpoint you must be seeing all the documentation that relates to GraphQL. But to read this you cannot directly hit into browser, you may need to use some other tools. I would suggest you to use Chrome EQL which is a Chrome extension and here you can see all the documentation and this view will present you in three parts. In leftmost part, you will see the documentation and what are the various functions or the features that you can use. In the leftmost window, you will be adding your queries. And in the middle window, you will see the output of your queries. So here I have a dummy query. So what I'm doing here is I'm asking Magento to give me the products information whose SKU is like my SKU. I'm also asking what is the page size, how many pages are there. I only need the first page result. I can also pass the sorting orders and simultaneously what is the response that I want from Magento. So earlier with Magento's REST APIs, when you build any mobile application, you can only define your attributes in server side only so let's say when I create my application and I needed only two attributes for my products catalog then these are defined into server side but later on if I need the third attribute it's quite hard I'll have to change my server side code but with GraphQL you can just add your new attribute with items here and the response will be provided with needed attributes so as I told you earlier that I have added one demo product so I'll add the SKU I'll rerun this and you'll see that I get my SKU and my demo products name so apart from that let's say I need the URL key so as I type you have seen the syntax hints by Magento so it, it was quite easy for me type in here and you will see the URL key here so with this, your client-side applications are now capable to get only whatever response they wanted. In Magento 2, you would have also seen that Magento is giving you lots of data which is not sometimes required for the front-end channels or front-end application in that specific area. So by this, you can also overcome that. So apart from that, with GraphQL, you can also add, let's say, short description and short description is a bit complex text type so i just add in html format so in whatever format i want my output i can get it here whenever i add a comma i start typing you will see the hints here which is a very good feature and as i mentioned this column will give you your request this is your response this is the other documentation that magento provides by default GraphQL will support all the queries and mutations which we will discuss further in subsequent videos. This was to get the high level overview of GraphQL and how you are going to use that in Magento. So it's quite simple. You have to just install Magento 2.3. Just go to GraphQL URL and just load it into any GraphQL reading tool. I would suggest Chrome EQL. Thank you very much.